So somebody asked about how to create these cool card designs that I make in Excel, and I wanted to show you the process. It's surprisingly easy to help you create some pretty cool designs uh, and really kind of opens up a lot of possibilities for how you do your layout in Excel. So our background's just a rounded rectangle. You add those under the Insert tab, hit Shapes, grab the rounded rectangle, drop it in. You can adjust the roundness in the upper corner here. Then we're going to give it a picture or texture fill and just turn the transparency up a little bit. That gives you a nice cool background and then we're going to overlay our metrics on it. The metrics are added by just inserting a text box under the insert tab, you've got a text box option. Drop it in there. So in your formula bar, hit equals and then click the cell you want it to point at and hit enter and then just style your text however you want it. Whenever a change happens in that cell, it's automatically going to flow through to this text box. This chart is just a standard line chart, but I've done a few things to just simplify it and turn it into a nice little trend line. When you first drop a line chart in, it's typically going to look something like this. So I've just gone in and I've just removed my axes. I've removed my grid lines. I've removed my uh, background fill and the border along the outside. I changed my line color to white and my marker color to white. And then under add chart element, I've dropped in drop lines, then selected my drop lines, turned them into a gradient line and updated those to be a fully transparent white to a like half transparent white and voila we've got a beautiful card you can use different variations of this for whatever data you have it's just a fun way to get data kind of out of the cell grid layout and it can help you present your data in a much more understandable and engaging way thanks so much everybody and a happy valentine's day bye